Hello everybody. Hope you're having a great evening. I am Ashley Washington. I'm also known as Sparkle Mama around here. <laughs> um, and I am excited to share a couple of things with you. First of all, I'm trying something a little bit new here. So I need whenever um, somebody can let me know if you can hear me, that would be so great. I feel like you probably can either through my phone or through, I'm doing earbuds. I'm trying this, so we'll see. Um, I wanted to share a couple of things with you tonight. Um, recently, I've been going to study a little bit deeper into restlessness, restlessness in our heart, and those places where we feel like our days are adding up, but we might not have a lot to show for it. First of all, that's a lie. Let's just say, I'm going to combat that is a lie. Your days are adding up to something amazing. But before I get started and, and tell a little bit of my experience with this, um, I wanted to share something that I have coming up. And I'm so excited about this because I don't think I realize what a need that there is. Um, but in this, in my age group of people, we are online entrepreneurs, network marketers, creatives. Um, we do these things that we love and use products that we love and want to share with other people. Um, but sometimes there's a little bit of a frustration or a struggle as we try to share our, create, our creations or a product that we love online and build a social media platform. So upcoming in the description above in the video, you're going to see that there is a link that you can download if you are an online entrepreneur, a network marketer, a creative, a woman who has a message or a ministry, um, a photographer, I mean anything on the creative spectrum that you want to be able to build a business online, I am going to be doing a free webinar to show you some of the basics of that and I have a free download if you want to take advantage of the five must-have tips for online marketers there's a link in the description so I just want to get that out of the way and let you know that if you know somebody who is an online um, somebody who wants to build an online business um, build a, a ministry online share their message online maybe they're an author they want to share their book and the message of their heart online yet they have struggled with knowing how to do that um, I would I'm gonna be t teaching the, some of the things that it takes in order to build an online business okay so I have that out of the way um, those of you who've popped on could somebody just give me a comment of a thumbs up I know it takes a little bit but let me know that you could hear me I'm trying something new with earbuds and um, if you can hear me, I would love to have a thumbs up. So um, I know it takes a little bit for it to get caught up. So when I say this, it's going to take a few seconds for, for you to let me know if you can hear it. But a thumbs up emoji would be great. Um, so let me share just a little bit. I did a um, blog post today. I posted it here on Sparkle Mama. Um, and I shared a little bit about my story of being in this place of restlessness and how I've walked through that restlessness in my heart. And, you know, honestly, I think that restlessness in our heart is probably one of the most undiagnosed issues that we face as humanity, but especially as women. It's something that we don't even realize is going on internally but it is a large part of our journey. And I know for me, restlessness, how do you define restlessness? Like, what is that? If you don't realize, I didn't realize it two or three years ago that I was kind of at the end of my journey with restlessness and that everything was gonna change. But typically, restlessness, it's just this feeling that maybe there's something more Maybe it's the thoughts of 
I love, I love this about my life, but I'm not 100% fulfilled. Um, I'm struggling because I'm at this transition place in my life and I don't know where to go next. I don't know what to do, but I feel stuck here. And the emotions that go with that can be, everybody has, a, has different emotions and a range of emotions. Um, I believe that it's probably one of the best places that we can be in life because if we're restless enough to not give up, then we will push through to find answers. But where it gets frustrating and it affects our health and our mental and emotional well-being is when we feel stuck yet we don't realize that we're just we're in this place of restlessness we're in this place of feeling stuck we're lacking passion we lack purpose we lack clarity like where am i even going and why was i plopped down on this earth and as i shared in my blog post for me i was like okay everyone else has their message from god and they know what they're doing or they seem to be it appears that they would be knowing what they're doing but here i am lost not knowing where to go, kind of frustrated and a little bit angry that I haven't gotten my message from God. In fact, <laughs> where I found myself was that all of the things that I thought God had led me into doing, they ended kind of in destruction, deconstruction. I would call it deconstruction at this point. I would have called it destruction back then, like fell apart. But now I actually call it deconstruction of all of the old patterns that weren't serving me. But I want to share with you some amazing information that I have learned about restlessness. There are all realms and manners of opinions on this from a scientific or neurological standpoint. Um, some people say that it's a neurosis, like it's literally a chemical imbalance or leads to a chemical imbalance in us. And what is, what's really going on? What is restlessness? It's kind of an irrational, subconscious, internal anxiousness that we don't really know the source of, we don't know where it's coming from. And sometimes we don't even know it's there. I didn't know it was there until everything that I was involved in I was miserable in that, those things. I was always searching for the next thing that would fulfill me, that would give me purpose, that would make me feel as if I was making an impact that I was called to make. Like I knew I was called to make an impact. We all know that we're called to make an impact, but where and how and why and what do I do with that? It's like this internal burning of, of a fire that then can get doused so easily with the frustrations that go along with that. So here are some signs of restlessness in our modern world that happen all the time. This is so accurate. A continuous need to be doing something, working, eating, drinking, watching, checking your phone, checking social media, Tossing and turning at night, having restless sleep, an obsession with the new or the next best thing, edginess, agitation that leads to emotional outbursts. Like I, <laughs> every one of these was me, everyone. <laughs> like, whoa, why did I not find this three years ago? Um, physical pain and numbness in various regions of the body. That's the physical possible manifestation of that. Um, here are some things culturally that reinforce this restlessness that we can sometimes feel in our soul. Materialistic, consumer, brand-driven culture. If we aren't surrounded by that, I don't know what is. An obsession with image or bodily appearance. The eternal pursuit to accumulate more money, more titles, more things. Parents chauffeuring kids to endless processions of activities. A collective addiction to social media. So all of these things contribute to this restlessness that we find in our hearts. And you know, they say hindsight is 2020. I wish hindsight wasn't 2020. I wish we could know in the moment what's going on so we can fix it. 
But the beautiful thing about hindsight being 2020 is it means that we took a journey. And as I shared in my blog post a little bit about my journey, um, I think that it, it is a journey that a lot of people are on and maybe have been on or are, are still on. And one thing that I shared about with restlessness and that how I found the answer to this restlessness in my soul is actually from something that's happening in our real life. I am in a home decor, an online home decorating membership group. It's awesome, like awesome. It's like 10 bucks a month and you learn about making your home a place that you love without buying a whole lot of stuff. You shop your house, you eliminate a lot of clutter. I've gone through each of, I've only done two rooms thus far and I've cleared out. So the first rule that you do is you clear out the entire room. And um, this is all in my blog post, so I'm not gonna go fully into it. I'll link my blog post in the comments. But all of that to say, that you go through each of the rooms as you decorate and you start out by taking everything out of the room. You completely clear the walls. And I just, I can't tell you what a profound effect that had on my clarity, but the thing I didn't expect was to be sitting in empty room, an empty room and a little bit frustrated because either I didn't have the item to fill the space or I would be looking at the space going, I don't even know what to put there. And there's a process of decorating and actually it was totally different than what I thought it was. Um, and you start out with, fill, with the windows, the floor. I mean, it's a, it's a process you go through. And by floor, I mean rug. Are you gonna have a rug? We have wood floors in our house, so it's always rug is my number one option, number one go-to. But in my living room in particular, there was a wall that just sat there empty with nail holes in it. And it grated on my nerves. It grated on my nerves what I had there before because it was so cluttered. And it frustrated me for it to be empty but I preferred it empty because as I've walked out this journey of decorating our house with a minimalist approach, cozy but minimal, I've realized that it was so important to clear the walls and that as life piled up on me several years ago and I came to this place of utter restlessness, utter frustration, utter lack of fulfillment. I knew there was, I was gonna have to find an answer because I was, or I was gonna stay there where I was and I don't know, just sit there and be nothing until I found the answer. <laughs> and it was like, it's a journey. It's been a journey to find the answers, but the very best thing that I learned that I did and I didn't realize that I did, but through a series of events, um, was led to learn how to clear my heart, to clear the walls of my heart in order to combat this restlessness. And does that even make sense? If you're restless, it seems as if there would be something that would fulfill you. There would be a thing. Even if it's your you know, daily reading and prayer time, like that's a thing that should fulfill your heart. And sometimes we can get to the place of being so restless that even that does not hold the answers because that's not the answer. So for me, and the process and the journey that I've learned is that the answer was clearing the walls of my heart. And what that meant was not knowing what was next, but not choosing something next, just letting, just letting it go, waiting for God to speak, connecting with God, and with Jesus in my heart in a way that I had no expectation or longing for what had to happen next. It was just kind of a surrender, but it was throughout a year's time. It took about a year for that place of surrender to really be realized with inside of me. But it started with clearing the walls of my heart 
and taking time now, I understand the importance daily that I take to, even if it's 10 minutes, like deep breathing and just having a, a, a time that there is just no distraction. There's no pull upon my psyche. There's no pull upon my emotions. It's just me and me sitting in the presence of God with zero need for anything, just there. And it's a reset, it's empowering. And sometimes, as I shared in the blog post, I'll read from a book that is impacting me so much right now. It's called Sacred Journey. Again, the blog post that I did today will be in the comments of this video. But that book has profoundly changed me on an identity level. It's helped me to find my identity. And when you find that place where you know who you are and you know who you are called to be and you know who God's called you to be, it's not an overnight thing. It was a journey. It was a journey. And I felt like in some of that journey, I banged my head against the walls of my heart. <laughs> like I had to sit in this cleared space, just me and God, and I had to work some things out. If you have kids listening, I will spell it. I won't say it because I know some of you have kids that might be nearby. But I had to work some S-H-I-T out. It is what it is. I was in it up to here. And had I not cleared the walls, cleared the room, cleared everything out, there's no way I could have made room for the new. There's no way that new life could have birthed from all of the ashes of the dead expectations, the dreams that I had to surrender, the places of pain that I had to lay out and get out and purge, <laughs> purge. Will I ever have to do this again? I don't know. But you know what? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, looking back on it. It was the most freeing. It's as if the pieces of the puzzle had a blank place to come back together more strongly. I've been told by people in the medical profession that if you break a bone, that it rebuilds back more strong, stronger than it was before. And that's what I feel like for me the last two years have been is um, a complete deconstruction of all the lies I believed, all the religious dogma that I had, had let form who I believe myself to be, who I believe God to be, um, all of the programming that I had picked up along my 43 years of living, um, all of the poop I mean literally like poop not to say everything was poop like I have, you'll have to read the blog post I have a great life I should have been a hundred percent fulfilled but why wasn't I because this restlessness was in my heart and there was a lack of identity and a lack of clearing the room and clearing the space of my heart so I just wanted to share that with you I pray it blesses your heart in the blog post I give four tips on how to um, step out of this how, how to maybe not step out but how to deal within the realm of what feels like maybe a lot of chaos to me it felt like what I referenced was did y'all watch when they imploded Cowboy Stadium the old one did y'all watch that I don't know if y'all did like I'm married to number one Cowboys fan of the universe I should get him a t-shirt that says that um, it like it's serious so we watched when the old Cowboy Stadium was imploded. And I think I saw some tears. I don't know. But, you know, the new one has, I guess it soothed his soul a little bit. Jerry's world. And so, um, anyway, but that is what it felt like. That's what this clearing the room of my heart, it felt like actually at times that there was implosion, there was dust flying around, there was, I couldn't see, I didn't know, I was, I was in a fog. And sometimes we just have to sit in the fog until it goes down. We have to sit in the chaos, we have to sit in it. 
And I can tell you this, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that I know who I am, I know who God is, and I can spring forth new life from there. And it's still a journey. I haven't, I haven't totally, you know, beat this whole thing or like, oh, you know, I'm not at this place of like, here I am doing so great. It's a daily journey. That's why for me though, a part of my daily journey and daily practice is a spiritual practice of just clearing, clearing the room of my heart. I hope this blesses you. Um, and again, I'll say this one more time. If you read in the description, I'm excited because I have an upcoming webinar for online business builders, people who have a network marketing business, a brand, a ministry, a message, an, if you're an author, a photographer, a creative of any sort, I'm gonna be doing a free webinar for those people because we're coming into a day and time where understanding the online realm to, to build a business in is gonna be, I think, more and more important. And um, I think that it's very wise as women that we understand how to build the infrastructure of what it takes to be successful online, to build a brand, to build a product, to build uh, an income. Because as we saw three months ago, everything went internal. And so building something online is one of the greatest investments that you can make in your business if that's your passion. And I'm here to help you with that. I've invested thousands of dollars and many, many hours in helping to grow my personal knowledge and understanding of the online realm. And I want to share with you the basics of that because sometimes it's just hard to get started because we don't even know. We just need a blueprint of how to operate in this online realm. Okay, so I have an upcoming webinar. I have a free gift that you can see above that if you're an online person who has any interest at all in being having an online business, that I have a free download, five must-have tips for online marketers. So you get the download for free. It's an awesome little PDF. Has lots of great information packed into it. And then you will be on the list to know when the webinar is gonna happen so that you can reserve your spot first. Um, if you're on that list, you're gonna be notified before I put it all out everywhere. And it's limited seating. I'm not opening it up to everyone. I'm gonna have it about 20 people is all that are gonna be on the webinar. So if you're interested, if that trips your trigger and you've wanted to build an online business, take me up on that free webinar um, because it's gonna be really good. It's really helpful. It's stuff I wish I would have known six years ago. Had I known it six years ago, then it would have, I would have had magical knowledge, right? But I like to help women who, um, sometimes you see people who have these massive, huge um, followings and in, they're influencers in the social realm and they built it because they started out with an email list of 10,000 people. Well, if you don't have an email list of 10,000 people, their formula is not going to work. So how do the normal people do it from the ground up? I'm here to help you with that. Okay, y'all have a great evening, and if this has impacted you in any way, I would love for you to share it with your friends and family. Tag them. There's a little share button that you can share. Um, share Sparkle Mama with people if it's impacted your heart. That would be the greatest compliment to me. All right, y'all have a great evening. Bye.